Good evening, shipmates. My name is Kevin Luke. I am the division chief for project management in the Sea Directorate. I am also a member of Flotilla 14 out of San Rafael, California. And tonight, I'd like to demonstrate to you just how easy it is to add your hours to Ox Data 2. So to get to Ox Data 2, it's pretty easy. There's a standard URL. You can see it here at the top. It's uscg.force.com ox community slash login. And if you bookmark this in your browser, it just makes it even easier to get to the next time you need to do it. Uh, this can, and I'm using Chrome here, but of course you can get to it through Microsoft Edge, Safari, uh, Firefox, just about any of those browsers will do it. It'll get you there. Once you're there, you'll notice that you'll be you're prompted for a login. Hopefully, this is something that you've already set up. If you haven't, uh, or you're having trouble determining how to set up a login, contact your FSOIS officer. But once you have received your login, uh, you just put your username and password in here and click login. Mine's pre-populated just to kind of make this go a little bit faster tonight. Okay, you'll notice that the system is set up for multi-factor authentication. What that means is I need a token in addition to my password to log into the system. So it is what you know, which is the password, and what you have, which is the token. So I'm gonna select use a mobile authenticator app for user uh, blah, 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 at cgox.ox. And I'm gonna use my phone here, bring up my Authy app, or you can get your authentication code via email. Either way, it works well. And I am gonna head, go ahead and just populate my access code here. It's okay, you guys can see it because this changes on a regular basis. It's never the same twice. Okay, once you are in, you'll be greeted with this home page. Okay, once you're in here, go ahead and click on activity logs. Uh, you will notice that uh, I've already got some logs populated, so here for my radio net check-ins, my uh, leadership activities with C Directorate, and my admin support activities with the with the flotilla are all accounted for here. This is where I've been putting in my hours. So tonight I'm going to go ahead and log a couple admin hours, uh, just do an email and things like that with my regular flotilla related duties. Uh, to do that from the activity log screen here, I will go ahead and just click on this new button right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna select unit individual. Now, if I was putting in hours for a patrol, uh, aircraft or boat, or maybe a radio net, I would select one of these. But tonight I'm just putting in some hours uh, for some work I've been doing while we continue to shelter in place. This is a great time to catch up on uh, paperwork and things like that. So that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, there's a couple fields here that have to be populated. The ones that have the red asterisk by them here are the ones are need some sort of entry in them. As you can see, the system already starts to kind of guess at what I'm going to put in there. Um, my unit is Central Marin. You can see my flotilla number 1130104 is already here, so it makes it pretty easy. I'll just click it. If it's not, you can use that magnifying glass you just saw there and search for your own flotilla number or name. Opcon for me is going to be 11th district, northern region. I'll select that. No operations code for this one. Mission code. I am going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here and I'm going to find 99E, other admin and logistics support. Mission start time and date. I will go ahead and put that in there. I'll select today. For my time, I will go ahead and uh, just choose 8 p.m. Okay, and duration, I think tonight I spent about two hours on paperwork, so let me go ahead and put that in. You notice if you hover over this little tooltip, it'll give you some more information about how you can increment your hours. So if it's two and a half hours or two and a quarter hours or whatever that increment may be, uh, you have a couple options here. Okay, summary activities. I'm just gonna put something in like uh, responded to email, caught up on paperwork. Okay, now there's a couple of fields here that aren't gonna pertain to me because I'm just doing admin work and that's what I'm logging here. But uh, of course, depending on what you're logging, you may wanna put something in these fields. So uh, there were no miles or costs associated with me catching up on email. 
Uh, there is no VE activity, no PV, no Aton work, no PE. So I'm going to scroll right past all of those. Uh, you'll see there's a couple fields here, FSOIS and SOIS. Those are blank right now, but you'll see here soon that those will get populated for me. So I'll click on the Save button down here at the bottom. You'll notice right here at the top, it says the activity was created. I've got an activity log number that's been assigned to that activity. Um, and then we see some familiar fields that pop up here. And these are the ones that we just populated. But then we see some other fields that uh, weren't populated before that now are. So my FSOIS and my SOIS are both in there. Of course, um, if they aren't, uh, those are ones that, uh, that uh, you, can, you can add yourself. So I'm pretty much done on this page. I've already filled in most of everything that Oxdata is going to want to know about the time I spent doing email. So I'm going to click on member assignment. And uh, to get there, I just clicked on this little tab right here. And you can see it highlighted in blue. I'm going to find my name. There's a couple ways I can do this. I can do my full name, find it that way, and check it that way. Or what I find to be even easier is just I'll put in my member number. And again, I'll find my own name. I make sure I click it. Okay. I make sure I click on this add members button here, which adds me to this list down here at the bottom. Now, if I made a mistake or I got the wrong member, I can always um, highlight that and then click this remove button here. But in this case, I got it right. I want to make sure that I go ahead and make myself a lead on this activity because I am a lead on the admin work that I've been doing. Okay. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to hit update activity members down here. It's going to tell me save. Save was successful. Green is good. We like green. We're going to sit, submit for approval. We can leave a message for FSOIS if we'd like. Uh, otherwise, you can just hit the space bar for a space and then hit submit. Okay. All right, well, that appears to have gone through, but let's go ahead and just double check to make sure that that's the case. If I click on activity logs now, you will see that uh, my entry is in there and it is under FSOIS review. So that's great news. And as soon as my FSO sees that and approves it, that will go into approved status. And then those logs will be captured by Oxdata for eternity. All right, well, I hope, shipmates, that uh, that helped make things a little bit easier. It gives you kind of a, an idea of how to get some of your basic information, your basic time information into Oxdata. We didn't go through every single uh, different scenario, but uh, that's okay. Um, this is probably, for most members, uh, a good start. If there's anything else you'd like to see or if there's any other videos you'd like me to make to walk you through some of this, uh, please let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, have a great night and uh, we'll see you out there.